Welcome back to another Trucker Tim video where we have just had an exciting email, haven't we, dear? We well, have. we say it's exciting, it might not be. It's telling us to log into our vehicle operator licensing account. Well. It could be good, it could be bad. But shall we do it? Yeah, let's go. Press that button. <sighs> Nervous. Go, go, go. Nervous. This video is a little bit all over the place, but you now find me with the Trucker Tim Experience Days Volvo at the airfield. In the back of this trailer, we've got loads of tyres and some beaver bus parts, it would appear. Not sure how they got in there, but yeah, we've got them in there. Loads of tyres, and what we're going to do now, we're going to make up a course for you guys to be able to use to, uh, to basically drive a truck. There is a link in the description of this video where you can book your experience day that you could be driving this truck. We need to decide what we're going to do here. How to make the best course for you guys to get the best experience out of your experience day as possible. So we can go right down there to where that green heap is and come back. And then we've got all this bit here to play with. So I suppose we better start chucking some tyres out and see how we get on. I'll tell you what, it's weird being in the back of this trailer again. I've done loads of loads with this trailer. I've done loads of loads with this trailer when I was at Data Shredders. To be back in here now and I own it is a bit, it's a bit surreal, but anyway, let's get, let's get some more tires out. I have made a start. Oh yeah. Off she goes, don't go on the runway. No, stop. Start over there in that corner, come down here. Made it really tight for you guys. See how you are judging your whip. It's harder than you think. These tires are blooming heavy. Another one. Still got plenty left. Oh, massive shout out to John Halifax. Whoa. Lovely. It's the Red Arrows. Red Arrow Tang. Look at that. So I've made this bit here very, very narrow. So you can just get through. So I've finally finished. But there's a plane just coming into land. So I've stopped here. I'm here with air traffic control. Roger. Roger, dodge. Here he comes. It's quite windy out there. So we turn the engine off for a second. Oh, it's better. Here he comes. Touchdown. Oh, crosswind. That was sketchy. Oh, I've finished the course. I've parked up alongside the Beaver bus. Well, that'll do me for today. We've got our first customers tomorrow. If you want to see what the course is like and what I've just built, please do come along. The link is in the description, like I say, to the Trucker Tim Experience Days. Come and have a go. The Trucker Tim Experience Days truck and the Beaver bus. Nervous. <gasps> yes! Helen, look! Yay! Well done, baby. Valid! We have a vehicle operator's license, Helen. Awesome, baby. Yes! Well done. And international as well. Oh, wow, well, what are you going to do in Europe? Well, I'll take fridge loads all over the continent. You won't see me ever again. Sounds good. When can you go? Tomorrow? What? No. Well, yeah, I can go now if I want, but I, I'm not because my truck's not ready. It's at Truck Max, and then it's going to Transtech, and then it's going in for paint, and yeah. I'm going to do tractors and log cabins, um, wind turbines. What about trains? Trains, anything I can get on the back of that lorry. I'm going to cart. That's exciting, exciting, dear. So, should we get some jobs booked in? How do we do that? What's the next step? Jobs. You know, like, how do we contact people like, yo, do you need a train moving or something? How do we do that bit? See, rejoin me at Lombardo is where there's a trader for sale that I might buy for the Trucker Tim channel. So here she is. She's a beaver tail. I do believe you call those a beaver tail. She's a triple axle. Little lockers down here. I wonder what's in here. Oh, look. Does it come with all these extras? Like that. You've got some run-up ramps here to get up onto the neck. Walk up here onto the neck. Anderson lead there so you can operate the beaver tail. It's just like a good piece of kit. So I'd use this to do loads and all sorts of things with. And we could use this to take the four series to show. So I don't want to take the R and the four. Oh, camera. It's got a camera. Bomber. Does that come off this trailer? No, it's a king. I like that. I might take that home and put it in my man cave. No lockers on this side, just a crash rail. I quite like it. Hmm. 
So let me know in the comments, should I buy this trailer? Over here, we've got Trucking Sounds Magnum. This is also in to have a little bit of work done, ready for the show season. Look at all the speakers on it, and there's a mud guard. <gasps> it's open. Got all the subs up there. And as well, while we're here, you see this fire engine? Me and Sean have got some big plans with that fire engine. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss it. So you rejoin me back at Lombardo's. This is Sean's brand new van. He's just had all these bars and tones, lights, everything fitted to it at Transtech. And now what we've got to do, oh, look at this. Got this brand new compressor that needs bolting down in here and a few other bits that need bolting down and finishing off. So I'm going to pull it around now and I think me and Sean are going to have a little go at that. There's no mats, so I'm going to take my shoes off because Kyle, who's got this van, always looks after his vans really, really nicely. And he takes his shoes off and he leaves them in that little bit there. I think he's actually having some mats custom made to go in here. How do you start this thing? Also, sound system install. Check that out. Now on that side as well, and I think there's a subwoofer under here. Oh yeah, there it is. That's a sub box there, and there's your amp down there. I'm a little bit conscious that that stuff isn't bolted down in the back. Correct me if I'm wrong, Sean, this looks a bit overkill for the air horns, mate. Well, you know how you like your tones? Yeah. Thought, so get a good compressor <laughs> to work my Hadley's. <laughs> Plug that in there and see if we've got any tonage. That sounds like the QE2. Look at that. Long trumpet. <laughs> We like that, Sean. We need to tidy it up a bit better, really. Yeah. That should do for the air horns, mate. That should provide enough air for those. Do you think? I think so. That's a, bit, that's a step up to us in the Cougar. It's only got 150 PSI. Is that it? all it's got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here. <laughs> we have arrived. We have arrived. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Oh, hang on. Oh, we're in oh, trouble we're now. We're in we're trouble. trouble. Office now. staff are out. I have got one, I'm going to pipe into there through the cab. Yeah. The old fashioned valve with the chains. Yes! Give it the big one. Have a go. Look at Nice. That. Good. We'll get it bolted in. Get it bolted in and, and uh, uh, yeah, away we go. When's this first day out? Well, as soon as it's done, really. So, well, the air horns are in, so it's ready now. It's ready now, yeah. It's got a tone, <laughs> so that'll do. Where did you, uh... Oh. oh. Where did you get your, uh, compressor from, oh, Sean? Rights Tools. Rights Tools. Rights Tools, Shout out of to course. Rights Tools. I think I might have the horn. Hey! <laughs> I think we're going to get in trouble in a minute. <laughs> uh, yeah, Oscar, um... I broke this when I was getting my bushes out, mate. We need to weld that back up. I did mention you in the video, actually. Did you? Yeah, I said Oscar's a good welder. He'll do that. I've just found the instructions for the uh, air horn compressor. The well, air horn compressor. Oh, look at that. Uh, use a manual. <laughs> oh, sticker. 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 Oh, it's all in Japanese. Oh. 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 Use a manual. Oh, this is a Honda. Hey, look, that's wrong. Shows me with wheels on that one. Oh, well, and it's an electric one. They didn't the right... give you any wheels. Oh. Tell what I could put on it. A Trucker Tim sticker. Yeah. Uh, yes. I'll bring one. No. Trucker Tim sticker in the van. He just said no. He'll oh, get one. He's anyway, getting one anyway. Is that a Japanese Trucker Tim sticker? Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah, I'm doing all different languages. Oh, yeah. It's all like funny pictures. Yeah. Good, isn't it? Is it Japanese or is it Chinese? It's not uh, Japanese, because oh, one is Japanese. I thought it was hieroglyphics. I've got another one What's here. What's this other sticker you got? Oh, look at this one. I bet that's flammable. What's that? <laughs> What's that mean? I don't know. Yeah, that's it. For when caught, you ain't got my balls. No, 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 not at all. Are you sure? Yeah, promise you. Good man. <laughs> look at that. I can trust you, Sean. That's it, new sticker in. That one's wonky. No, it's not. And what was it? Mate. Is it spot on? That's spot on. Look at this, though. Trick with tea. Trick with tea. I'll just take both. I'll the car and work. Cheers, mate. Tea. <laughs> Better for your beer. <laughs> yeah, it would, but a bit early, innit? Yeah. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps in the next half hour. Yeah. So we've got one of Ken Thomas's backing in here. Oscar, is that going to fit? Nice welding, by the way. It fits, because look, if you look up here, there's a... Mark there, yeah. And mark there. Yeah. What are these? You're gonna get one over, mate. Oh, he made it fit. Made it fit. Come on, driver. 
I should get some of them paddles. Yeah, you need some paddles. Get some of them paddles. <laughs> Keep going like this. Whoa! Some of that. Alright, mate. <gasps> Sean! Oh. Stop him! No! Okay. Stop him! Look at that! <laughs> Get you some of that. Hard on. Whoa! That nah, ain't straight off. Go. Get him a go forward a bit of right hand out. Oh. This is all very tense. He's got them silly cameras, Sean. Yeah, he so he ain't gonna know what he's doing, is he? Yeah. I don't think that's an original beef. No, it's one of them cheap ones, it's probably a little bulk of that one. Yeah. It's a John Burr! John Burr! You know a John Burr! I do know a John Burr, he was on one of my recent videos. What are we looking at here, Sean? That is a long way away. Well, what we have here... What's come in? Is someone wants us to go and recover a car transporter. There. Uh, Germany, yeah. Cos Wick... Oh, Ooh, hello. Oh, we'll press the wrong Routes changed. Oh, oh. Oh, you don't know what you're doing, do you? No. But we're, anyway, apparently we're meant to be going there. It's going to be a long way, but I'm just debating which route to go across the river. Yeah, across the sea. Yeah, not the river. Because if we go across that way, that's an all-night boat. Yeah, but if we yeah. go on that one, it's only like 90 minutes. We'll go Dover, Calais. We can have beer yeah. on that one. Yeah, we can. Is that it, Sean? Yeah, we're going to bring them little cars back as well. They I look think. like banger cars. Yeah, we'll have them. Put them around. Are they four angers? Uh, no, they're not. No, it's a little German car with like a two stroke engine. Trabant. Trabant. Look, there you go. Trabant. Meet, meeting. Oh, lovely. Wash your hands before we go. Oh, yeah, might have to, yeah. You ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. I've got my passport. I've always got it on me. All right, two. Well, let's get on it then. Yeah, let's go. Now, where are we going? We've got the road. We've got the road. New gearbox in it. You've just put a new gearbox in this? Yes. Wow. New gearbox, new clutch. New gearbox, new clutch. You have to pull the curtain like that. Yeah, pull the curtain like that, mate. Is that how it works? And hold the wheel like this with like... What, like, like, like that? Yeah, well, like, like that, that and I then a bit of that. I and... can't drive like that. Oh, we... That's why you drive a daft. Is that what it is? That's why you drive I've a daft. I've not got to scan your tank. No. Pull the air out the seat, mate. Yeah, pull the air out. out yeah, Oscar oh. knows because he's got to scan you. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. Right. Go. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that yeah it? that's it. Tens. Oh, oh, it. oh that that's not a good sign. I didn't put it in drive. <laughs> that would do it. That would do it. We're on a road, on a road test. test. So my Cougar is over there. Just having an oil change while we're here, aren't we, Sean? Yeah. Is that a fan? What are we checking for? Just make sure it goes up and down the gears all right. Yeah, so we need a good stretch to get her up to top. Yeah. Get her up on the onto the limit. Well, no, not quite, because we only do 50 on yeah, single yeah. carriageway, Sean. That's in third gear now. Yeah. It's changed. Fifth. That's that's good start. That's a good sign. What's that now? Seventh. Wow. It's even better. Oh, Sean, now. No, I can't, but then now, now. You know what I'm going to say, yeah, here, don't you? But I can't because it, I'll, right, I've got my other <laughs> on. Yeah. And if the driver of this gets mm -hmm. in here, yep. With a. Um, nice white shirt on and I've sat with a tang goes, shirt probably with a tang shirt with yeah. a scanner badge there yeah maybe a V8 yeah on the back, back yeah. probably yep he might get a dirty he might black line oh so okay this is just for road test purposes only. I do understand but I don't think the police would understand that I would argue it's 12 oh that's good yeah, that's good it goes in gear I'm doing 50 cruising we're cruising it. love it Oh. oh! I can't answer and drop. No, you can't actually. Can't answer. Can't answer it. Just, Just ignore it. Let it ring. Let it ring. So when are we going to uh, Germany, Sean? Well, uh, in a job on. Well, we're hoping so. We've priced it. So let's hope we get the job. <laughs> Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss that video if it happens. Me and Sean talking to the Germans would be funny, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would Can be you funny. imagine that on the boat? Um, <laughs> I can speak German. Can you? Yeah. Go on then. What is your name? Junipel Trucker Tim. Oh, that's, that's French. French. That's French. Oh, oh we're gonna, we're gonna, Trucker gonna, Tim. Yeah, but, yeah, but they're close to France, aren't they? Germany. So, oh, well, yeah, you've got to drive through France. Yeah, so Germany, they must so speak a bit of... I drive through England to get the start, but I don't speak Scottish. <laughs> we think we fixed we're, it. We're good. What's we're it? Add a new gear, just a new gearbox. It's had a gearbox rebuild, yeah. So we took like the gearbox. So, yeah, oh, right. yeah, new clutch. Well, you rebuilt the gearbox. Yeah, there was a gear gone in the gearbox. So when you just put the PTO in... Oh, it was it the one that was noise. making the knocking yeah, noise? that's the one. We love it. We do love it. I love it. When are we going out on another winch out, Sean? Well, we ain't had a phone call. You never know, do you? You never know. That phone call there that you just ignored could be a winch out. Could be. You just don't know, do you? Hands free. 
You don't know, do you? Could, no. Any time. I think we've fixed it. We have fixed this. We can take it back to him. I there. say we. I don't think I had much involvement. Uh. <laughs> back from the road test and the conclusion is... All good. Fixed. So we've changed the oil in the Cougar. I'll go and show you the oil in a second. It's black as anything. It really needed changing. But we're currently doing a regen while we're at it. Me and Joshy boy did one of these ones. Let me show you the oil. Look at that. What are we doing then, Callum? What are we doing? Fuel upgrades, Fuel upgrades mate. Yeah. yeah big How much power are you getting out of us? Uh, hopefully 270. 270. Over a little Skoda. Yeah. Look at that. Where's that go on here? Yeah, on the bottom. Ah! So that goes on there. Where are you going with that? Up there in the turbo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can, help, I can help with that if you want. Go on then, put her in. Oh, oh no, it don't it's fit. the wrong size. It's the wrong size. Oh no. That don't fit in there, mate. Oh no, it's not the wrong size. What are we going to do? Yeah, no, a little uh, issue. Oh, question. Yeah. Are you going to have a dump valve? Oh yeah. A blow off valve? Yeah. Yes, mate. I've got to have one of them. That's eBay it is. eBay it will be tonight. Yep. Give us food revs when you get it done, mate. Oh yeah. Hopefully get it done this weekend. Bro. This weekend? Yeah. Hmm. I'll leave it. I'll leave it with you. Yeah, I think so. So I've just got home. I had a letter in the post, and in that letter was this goods vehicles identity disc. So basically, I put that in my window, and that shows people that I've got a goods vehicles operator's license, international. So how cool is that? I'm going to get that put in as soon as it gets back from Truck Max. Talking of Truck Max, we're going to head over there in a second and check up on the progress of the R Series exhaust system. So let's head over there now. So we have just arrived at Truck Max. Let's head in and see how they're getting on with the R500. Oh, oh, oh. So we're just inside now at Truck Max. My truck is just the other side of the camera. I've caught a little glimpse and it looks absolutely awesome. Before we show you the new exhaust, here is the old one that's come off. Oh my god, that weighs a ton! It's so heavy. Obviously you can see there where it was hit on the way bridge or wherever. But that piece is so heavy. Anyway, are you ready? Check this out. We've got the Truck Max logo in there. That looks absolutely awesome. They're huge as well. Look, I can get my fist right in there. Literally get my whole arm in there. Look at that. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to hear it today because it's not quite ready yet. It's still got some pipe work to be done underneath. Just by the looks of it, I can tell it's going to sound awesome. I mean, come on. And also, while we're here, the cab is over. I haven't actually seen this truck with the cab over. I haven't been able to look into the engine yet or anything. So let's have a little look now. Top end set, 29th of the 10th, 13. Top, what's that? What's that mean? Anybody know what that means? Let me know in the comments. It needs a good clean under here, but this is all gonna be sprayed anyway. So this top bar is gonna come off. We're gonna spray it, I think, probably blue. Uh, gonna put some new beacons on and some new spotlights. Maybe some new air horns as well, because they're all pitted. Look up on the roof now, look. A little bit dirty underneath, isn't she? But we'll sort that out. We'll give her a good steam clean under here eventually. I think also this is part of my exhaust. Oh. Yeah. Here's one of my wheel arches and one of my spats. I want these on, but what I'm thinking is maybe we can put them in there and bond them in and then fill these holes in so we ain't got screw holes in the arches. I'd we'll have to speak to Darren and see what he says. Now, I don't think they're gonna stay this color for very long, especially when I've got the black box feared. Basically, I can press the switch in the cab and it's gonna kick out loads of black smoke all down the side here. That's gonna be awesome. So we've now got the truck up in the air. We're gonna go underneath and see what's going on. So here's the back of the exhaust here. We're gonna go down here, around here, and then loop back up here somewhere, then back here, then round here, then down here than out there. Now this here is part of the PTO, which that is in their way a little bit. But I did say, if it's gonna affect the noise, just take it off. I don't have PTO, I just want noise. So yeah, I'm very, very excited. Oh. Ooh. Oh dear. That tanks a bit. Oh. Don't have a word with Sean about that. That's quite bad. Yeah, I'm very excited to come back and hear what this sounds like in a few days time. 